I am head conservator here at the Maryland Archaeological Conservation Laboratory, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at a conservation technique called electrolytic reduction or electrolysis. Now, this is a technique whereby we are attempting to remove harmful salts from archaeologically recovered metal artifacts. Uh, the salts were acquired during the burial environment, and if left uh, in situ within the structure of an artifact, it can cause potential damage and additional deterioration. So this is actually a technique that we don't often employ because it is hard to control. It requires special monitoring equipment, and you have to have a real understanding of each individual artifact to determine if it is appropriate for that object. So it is not something that we recommend uh, anyone attempt at home, uh, and it is something that really requires the attention of a trained conservator. So in place of an artifact today, we are going to be using a modern silver liquid spoon. Now, if you can recall back to your early chemistry days, you know that some materials are positively charged while other materials are negatively charged. So the silver is positive and the sulfur tarnish is negatively charged, thus they are attracted to one another. We're going to be using electricity to influence the way that those two materials are attracted to one another. So we're gonna start off with our solution of water and we're going to add an electrolyte to improve the conductivity of the solution. Very useful spoon for that purpose. So now we are going to attach the negative electrode to our positively charged span. Likewise, we are going to take our positive electrode and attach it to a piece of stainless steel mesh to make it possible this is going to be our sacrificial anode. So when we turn on the electricity, we have now made our spoon negatively charged. The negative tarnish is no longer going to be attracted to the surface and it's instead going to be attracted to the highly positively charged sacrificial anode. So if you can please direct your attention to the surface of the spoon, uh, we're actually going to be using a much higher voltage and amperage than we would um, tend to employ on an archaeological artifact, but we're trying to speed up the reaction um, so that you can see the process uh, very quickly. So, here we go. And you can see how very fast that reaction can take place. Now, the bubbles that you see rising from the surface of the spoon, that's hydrogen gas, and we can actually use that process to help in the cleaning of an artifact, say a, a heavily concreted marine artifact, the bubbles through an active erosion can actually weaken the interface between the corrosion product and the surface of the object, uh, which can actually expedite the cleaning process as well. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope to see you at the Mac Lab. Everyone, be well.